Hello, my name is Samantha, and this is my presentation, Everything You Need to Know About Amanda Young, Without Watching Six Saw Movies. This will be a plot summary, mostly of Amanda, but of some other key points, um, and it is a knowledge that you will then apply to hopefully watch my other presentation, which is uploaded on the same account, um, about Amanda Young and femininity. So, let's begin. This is John Creamer, a.k.a. Jigsaw. He is, the reason it's named Saw is because of him. He's Jigsaw. And the <laughs> Saw, if you don't know what it's about, is about this man, and he takes people and he puts them into traps, which are these elaborate mechanical engineered traps, which the goal is to test your will to live if you've done something wrong in life, which could be anything from self-harming to cheating on your spouse or whatever, um, and if he thinks you did something wrong in life, he puts you in a trap, and then you have to test your will to live and sometimes make bodily sacrifices. Um, so you just need to know about him, because he will come up again. He's important to the whole thing. Saw 1, I will explain the, the real plot of Saw 1 in a minute, but I don't think you really need to know the plot of Saw 1. Basically, the part that's important to Amanda is that she gets put in a trap, and it's called the reverse bear trap. And basically, they strap this trap into her head. They say, you have 60 seconds to kill this guy who is in the room. And if you kill him by finding the key in his stomach, you can unlock your trap and get it off. And um, Amanda's whole thing is that she is the first survivor for a while. She's the only survivor. And maybe it should have stayed that way. But, <laughs> but she's the first survivor of a saw trap. And she gets it done. She cuts the guy's stomach open. She gets the key. She unlocks her trap. She throws it off just in time she almost could have died. The reverse bear trap basically opens like this, so it would snap your jaw off. It's kind of scary, but, um, yeah, that's the reverse bear trap. Um, and then I'll explain generally the plot of Saw 1, just because in my presentation you need to know this man. Sorry, I said, oh, it's Adam. No offense. I mean, no one who knows Adam will be watching this, so it's fine for me to hate on him, but I don't like him. He's a stinky little man, but basically the plot of Saw 1 is that there's two men trapped in a bathroom, um, him and this man named Lawrence Gordon, and they're tied up by their ankles, and they, they're they like, you have six hours, six hours, and Amanda got 60 seconds, um, but you have six hours to, pretty short six hours, to kill Adam with this, with like a gun, and then you can escape. But then he ends up escaping in a different way. It's very complicated, but you just need to know about Adam because he comes up in my presentation because Amanda and Adam have some moments in later movies. So that's Saw 1. The reverse bear trap and the bathroom trap. Other things happen, but there's also a scene where Amanda gets interviewed by the police um, about how she survived the trap, which you'll need to know, but it's I have a picture of it. It's not crazy. Then we come into Saw 2, which is the nerve gas house. So this group of people, I don't know, maybe it's six people, maybe it's seven people, get put into this house where there's nerve gas releasing and they will die in like three hours. And they have individual traps in the house that they have to solve. And Amanda gets put in the trap again. This time she has short hair. And um, so she's in the trap. And then she's made to solve this other guy who we hate, strap called the needle pit. And he basically throws her in the needle pit, even though it's supposed to be his trap. Every trap is assigned to a different person. But he throws her in the needle pit, and um, that's all you really need to know about the needle pit. You have to find a specific needle in the needle pit. But everyone says it's the worst saw trap. I don't think it's that bad. Like, what, what's going to happen? Like, it's better than cutting off your own limbs. That's... Now I'm getting into my opinions, but <laughs> that's the needle pit, which is all you really need to know. There's Amanda, and all you need to know is that there's some men in there, the guy who throws her in the needle pit, this other little little 15-year-old guy, and the plot of Saw 2 is basically that all of these people were put into this house because they all got framed for different crimes by this one police officer. And so the movie's kind of revolving around them, and this police officer, whose name is Eric Matthews, he comes up in the presentation too. Um, so he framed Amanda for drug possession, even though she wasn't, and then he put her in jail, and then she became addicted to drugs. I forgot to mention, the reason she was in the Saw Trap is because she was addicted to drugs and ruining her own life, which you will see later in Saw 6. But, yeah, so she goes in the house, she does all of that, and then what happens at the end of the movie? It's revealed that the whole time she was working with Jigsaw, um, 
and she was evil the whole time, and she was in on it, even though I have my own opinions about her suffering repeated trauma in that movie unnecessarily because of men. We'll talk about it later. But basically, this is the moment they go back to the bathroom trap from Saw 1, and Eric Matthews gets locked in there, and she says, game over, which is what you say in Saw, and she has this little speech about how she's going to carry on John's legacy after he dies and stuff, and she locks Eric Matthews in the bathroom, which is revealed to be in the basement of the house, I think. So, uh, yeah. So that's Saw 2. So now we know she's working with Jigsaw, and she was throughout all of Saw 2, and she will be in Saw 3. Saw 3. This is this picture really sums it all up. So Amanda kidnaps this woman who's a doctor named Lynn, and she's like, John is dying because he's dying of cancer, and that's why he started doing the traps in the first place, because he like had some realizations about life and stuff and cancer and something else that'll be revealed in Saw 6. And then, um, so Amanda kidnaps Lynn, and she says, you're gonna keep John alive until we finish this other game. You don't need to know anything about the other game, because it's not actually important to the presentation. But basically, there's another other game going on, and I will try and not spoil what's happening in that game. But Amanda kidnaps Lynn, puts her in this collar called the shotgun collar, which basically would explode shotgun shells into your face. Um, or something. It may, <laughs> it's like, it's very graphic, but she puts Lynn in the collar. There's a lot of interesting interactions with Amanda and Lynn, which I will talk about in my presentation, but basically she's like, you have to keep John alive. And then, like, midway through, maybe a little later, there's this letter that Amanda finds, um, and John tells her, go to the desk. There's this letter in there. And the letter says, um, this is not going to make any sense to you until I explain Saw 6. But it's okay, because it's not supposed to make sense to you. Um, it says, Amanda, you were with Cecil the night Jill lost Gideon. You killed their child. You know it, and I know it. So do exactly as I say. Kill Lynn Denlin, or I will tell John what you did. And now I will explain what the letter means. Um, we'll come back to him. This is Jill heart eyes for her. She is revealed to be John's divorced partner. Um, I'm pretty sure they were actually married. <laughs> Why am I acting like I don't know about Saw in this presentation? Don't worry about it. But basically, Jill um, had something with Jigsaw when they were like, I love you to each other. I don't know. And then they were going to have a baby and Jill was pregnant. And then it is revealed that... <laughs> Amanda was with this guy named Cecil. They went to go and get money or drugs or something from the, um, like, what's it called? It's like a, like a doctor's office, but it's, it has a different name, <laughs> where Jill, which Jill owns, and she's like a doctor too. And so they go to get money or drugs, and Cecil's like, it's, Amanda's like, you go in, Cecil. And he's like, okay. And then he goes in, and, he, and Jill's like, he's like, hey, Jill, can you unlock the door? I left my jacket in there. And she's like, okay whatever, go on in, and then he's like, bah! he, like, slams the door into her stomach and kills her baby, um, and Gideon is the name of the baby, so this is Amanda when she finds out that Jill lost the baby and that he did that to her, um, so she has guilt, which I will talk about in the presentation about killing the baby, and then later, there's this guy, Hoffman, who is in Saw 4, revealed to be, he was in the police force, but he's also was working with Jigsaw the whole time. Boo, I don't like Hoffman, and I don't think you should either. <laughs> this is me giving you my opinion. He sucks, he's stinky, and we don't like him. He's very hyper-masculine. Blah, 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 we'll talk about it in the presentation. But this is a scene between Lynn, or <laughs> Amanda, sorry, I got Lynn, Lynn brain rot. But this is a scene between Amanda and Hoffman. And basically, this is set in Saw 3, but it's taking place in Saw 6. It's a flashback. Um, and this just shows them together. But it is revealed that Hoffman is the one who wrote the letter to Amanda that made her kill Lynn, which caused a bad chain reaction of other things, which I don't know if I mentioned them in the presentation, so right now I won't tell you about them. But those are all the movies that Amanda's in, and that's everything that she does in the movies, pretty much, that is covered in my presentation. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope this wasn't too long. <laughs> oh, about 10 minutes. And now I will get to the good part, which is the presentation about femininity. And if you're interested in that, make sure to check out the other video on my YouTube channel. Bye!